Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to Oblivion. So last time, we visited our first spire, and in the process, we wiped out the entire population of Ogres, so Shrek's not going to be happy with us. However, we did also find a mysterious artifact, so I believe we have to show it to slow-talking Lizard McGee over here. You're back. Were you able to clear out the ruin? That's one way of putting it, yeah. Yes, and I found this. What's this? You found this in the ruins? Yes, that's what I said. And it was in the second chamber. So, there was a second chamber. After all. Let me take a look at that. Hmm, very peculiar. The outer matrix here is no ordinary igneous rock. It's certainly not sedimentary. I see. Judging by its density and structure, I'd say this has to be a meteorite. But this inner matrix is really spectacular. Look how it glows. Oh, steady on there, Pennywise. Yes, give me my reward now. For such good work on a first assignment, you're right. Oh no! Here, take this key to display case C. That rhymed, that was some fat beats. We're gonna call you MC Lizard McGee, and that also rhymes. Yes, Gord, tell me about the Inner Matrix, of which there were no sequels to that movie. I've seen my fair share of meteorites, but nothing like this. It appears as though the glowing in a matrix is firmly encased in this otherwise ordinary meteorite. And look here, I can make out a marking on the inner material. Do go on, I'm listening. Yes, I see it too, even though I totally don't. But it's barely legible. We need to clear off some of this grime. Use your tongue, you're a lizard. What do you care? Grime! It's definitely a deposit of some sort. Perhaps a fusion crust. Whatever it is, it's stuck on there good. I know what will do the trick. To miss dissolving agent. To miss dissolving agent. Buy yours now. Okay, yeah, tell me about that. To me, a resident paleontologist developed a special dissolving agent to help his fossil excavation. He had a similar problem with stubborn mineral deposits. They completely enveloped his fossil. I want you to go see Tumir and bring me back a vial of his dissolving agent. Here, I'll mark his excavation site on your map. Thanks, buddy. And hurry back. I'd like to get to the bottom of this. Heh <laughs> heh, I bet you would. I bet you were not going to ask you him too. about the meteorite because he spent 20 minutes talking about that anyway. No, I remember this is like, uh, it's like a chili pepper. I'm not going to tell you what it does, but it does something very interesting. I can't remember exactly, but it's pretty cool. Anyway, where the hill is display case C. See, they're, they're not in order, so. Your guess is as good as mine. I can never remember where the hell they are, and they're all over the freaking place. Is it you? It is. So yeah, for now we get uh, a Dweema Cog, which again, it's cool you can put it in your house and decorate it and shit. And yes, we can't pick that up right now. But later, my pretty. Later. And it would over encumber me, fan freaking fantastic. But so yeah, you do get some things like that, like I mentioned, that are purely aesthetic. Like the Cog, nothing special, but you get some amazing stuff. Like holy shit. And uh, I'm over encumbered as shit, so give me a moment here. That'll do, pig. That'll do. Right, first thing first, uh, have I got a disease or something? No, apparently not. Which, yes, I know, it's a weird thing to say out loud, but, uh... Yeah, my dude seems to be way more over encumbered than he should be, so I thought maybe we've got some kind of burden on us, but it doesn't look like it. Right, so the camp is down yonder, and we're over here. 
So, we're gonna go from this cave and you know the drill. If I find something along the way, I will show you. Otherwise, I will just see you when we arrive. What is it, boy? What do you see? And why are you punching? I do not know what the hell is up with the followers. Does that dude have an ebony bow? He's got an ebony... I think he's got an ebony... I, okay, we gotta kill this dude and not die to him, because, uh... I want that freaking bow. Give me a bow, you little midget bastard. Why's everybody shoot? Thank you. Why's everybody shooting me and Smitty's running around punching and the mates doing jack shits? You have weapons, people. Use them, for Christ's sakes. Never mind, I'll do everything. The tables have turned, and he had a healing potion and didn't use it. What a moron. I was a sorcery. I wasn't paying freaking attention. Yeah, that does indeed seem to be an ebony bow. So I'm gonna equip that bad boy right now. Looks kinda ugly. I don't really like the way ebony looks in this game, but hey. More power. Anyway, I do believe we are nearing our destination, but really, I'm silenced? God, that sucks. There we go. Uh, we are nearing our destination. However, I did notice some dark trees in the distance. I don't know if they're just glitching out or something, but... Yeah, I really have no idea. It's like a weird patch of grass there as well. Are you a lighting glitch or are you actually something? No, it seems to be real. And there's uh, an Imperial Forester there. And this, this boar's got an arrow right between the eyes. Okay, I put that thing out of his misery. I did it a favor. Yep, he's on our side. At least I think so. If you attack me, sir... You're gonna get screwed over, but we'll leave you alive for now. So what the hell is this? Is this like a dark forest or something? I have never seen this before. I assume this is part of unique landscapes, but yeah. It's not marked off on the map, and usually they are. Maybe not always, I don't really know. It's like a, a ruined village or something. This looks badass. I have never seen this. Okay. Oh, we found uh, the Forsaken... Lorik Village. I think that's how you say that. I don't freaking know. I'm really bad with names and we seem to have lost the maid. Oh, you're right behind me. Stop doing that shit. Right, so can we go in any of these bit? Well, we can't go in that building. That's for sure. Okay, there's a well here and... Yeah, I don't see anything else in the immediate area. The well's locked. Okay. So I'm assuming this is like some kind of unmarked quest or something? Like, uh... Maybe you get a key and then you can go in the well and there's a dungeon? Don't really know, maybe it's just for looks. But, uh, yeah. I have never seen this. This is so cool. It's like a creepy dark forest with giant vines all over the place. And weird broken buildings, but again, I don't know if there's actually anything to do here. Hey, we found a bed and a chest. God damn it. Oh, you get up there, that's bullshit. Is the key and the chest. Now, but there's some potions which is handy. And they offer a me. Oh my god, what the hell am I carrying? Far too much shit. Far too much shit. Okay, I put away some more crap. I, I really just need to go back to my house and just put a whole bunch of stuff in there, but, uh... We're gonna say I'm a lazy hoarder and I really ca Oh, you can actually, like, uh, kick the vines. That's kinda cool. I wanna, I wanna get up here. God damn it. Move, giant vine! Guys... Okay, they actually made it past the giant vine. I wasn't expecting that. So yeah, I'm assuming there's gonna be like a building or something around here that we can enter and maybe get the key to the well. I really don't know. But uh, yeah, again, this could be purely aesthetic. I would assume this is added by Unique Landscapes. I don't know of any other mods that I have that would add this, because I've done all the quest mods that I have before, so... I know they don't add any, you know, dark forest, at least. I don't think so. I do have a shitty memory, though, so it's entirely possible, but uh... What the hell is that? What are you? Are you dangerous? It's a, a Sprite. Like the, uh, the disgusting soft drink. Fizzy drink. You know what I mean. It don't seem to be attacking me. Hello? You gonna lead me to salvation and the key or something? I realize we're getting very distracted here, but damn it, this is awesome. Yes? Uh, no, I'm trying to click on the Sprite. Get your ass out of the way. Yeah, we can't click on the Sprite. But it seems friendly. I'm gonna save it because I want to see if we can attack this thing. Duh! <laughs> We can't attack it, okay. Interesting. Yes, I, it almost seems to be running away from me, so I'm assuming... What the... What the hell did you just do? Did you just make Smitty invisible? I saw that, you casted something on Smitty. Can I... Okay, I brought him back with gold. He's he's not gold, though. Well, he's kind of gold, because he's wearing Dwarven. But yeah, I don't really see anything else around here, but... Uh, yeah, very cool area. Again, I assume you can get in the well, but it could be purely aesthetic. What the hell is this? Oh, this looks like uh, one of the, the, uh, the shrines of the gods? I can't remember what the hell they're called. 
The shrines that you have to go to for the uh, Knights of the Nine quest. This thing hurts. Okay. I don't like this place. It's dangerous. Well, I do like it. It's cool, but it's dangerous as shit. Okay, so let's check out the shrine just to make sure it uh, actually is one of them. Maybe it's a unique shrine. That's the shrine of Talos. Continue your penance to earn the gods' forgiveness. I need no guts. Okay, so apparently the journal updated. Yeah, we got so uh, we prayed at the shrine of Telos. Ah, so I thought because my infamy was too high, I wouldn't be allowed to. Because I didn't actually pray at that exactly. Because I didn't get a buff or anything. And there's a Spriggan here. Die, you weird evil wench. Spriggan's man, this game kind of creeped me out. And yes, there was some of the black bears, which aren't too tough. It's the brown bears you want to watch out for, but uh, yeah, suck on that. I forgot what the hell I was gonna say. I got distracted. But, uh, yeah, so we did pray that it counted for the pilgrimage quest, so apparently we can do Knights of the Nine, even though we're not technically praying to them, because we have too high infamy, but, yeah, apparently just clicking on them is enough, so. Yeah, we'll do the Knights of the Nine at some point fairly soon, I guess. There's another dead bandit here. Boy, did you walk into the wrong freaking forest, bunny. Shouldn't have eaten your bread, might have kept you alive. But then again, probably not, because this ain't Minecraft. Alright, what's down here? Is there anything to- oh god! Okay, I'm kind of stuck in the rocks. Can I get back out legit? Yes, I can. Again, I realize we're wasting a lot of time running around here, but this is really cool. I want to check this out because I want to see if we can go on that well. And if it is like a giant dungeon down there, then we really don't want to do it right now. But uh, yeah, I want to see what the hell is going on around here. And there's a uh, weird purple looking water. I like that. It's like a magical forest of death. It's pretty goddamn cool. And we've got uh, a mushroom. Ouch! Apparently the glowing purple water's poison, so I guess that kind of makes sense in retrospective. Is it draining my stats or anything? I don't think so. So I guess it's not like poison exactly, but you know, like it, it burns. It burns us, monster! Okay, we found a uh, Har Harseen Grove and there's, there's a Minotaur over there. See, I'm sure this area is a vanilla area, so it's almost like they've created a dark forest around it. That's really cool, I like that. And yeah, I think again this Minotaur might be called a Minotaur of the Grove, and I think they have something to do with, uh... Kinda like an unmarked quest here, I don't want to spoil it. It might not even be an unmarked quest, I can't actually remember, but... There's something that the Minotaurs protect. And, uh, yeah. Probably gonna be tough as shit. Force push! <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, by the way, it was Harkane Grove, not Harseen, or whatever the hell I said. I suck at reading things, plus it wasn't on the screen for very long, so that's my excuse, goddammit. I was distracted. And yeah, this dude seems way tougher than a more normal Minotaur, and he also seems to look a bit different, because, uh, I'm sure normal Minotaur- Yeah, suck on that. I'm sure normal Minotaurs have, like, uh, one hey. broken horn or something? I don't really remember, but either way, we got the fella's horns now. Again, we're gonna need that ingredients. And I see another sprite over there, and one up here as well, and suddenly it's foggy as shit. I don't know if that's something that happens in this area, it's probably just a random weather effect, but, uh... It's really kind of annoying, because now I can't see a goddamn thing. I'm trying to see, because I'm sure there are like, uh... I'm trying to remember, I think there might be three of those Minotaurs, and again, they're protecting something. I'm not going to spoil what that is, but... Yeah, I'm trying to see if I can find what it is that they're protecting around here, because... It moves. That's, that's all I'm going to say. And I can't find shit. I can't see shit, Captain. What the hell are we got? It looks like we're actually in the other side of the, uh, the dark, mysterious forest of death, which is a little bit upsetting, so... I'm guessing what we're looking for is not around here right now. Maybe it'll come back later? But, uh... Yeah, screw it. I guess for now, we'll, uh, we'll leave. We'll go find the, uh, the dissolving agent from that dude in the camp, and then we'll come back, check here later, see if we can find what we're looking for, and maybe see if we can get entrance to the well, but, uh, yeah! Really cool area. I like it. Okay, mucho swimming us later, we have arrived Speech at the excavation no site. Stop hey, buddy! And again, there's more planks in barrels. Don't know what the hell's up with that. And yeah, this is like a weird cocoon with drippy shit. It's disgusting, and I think that's how the guy makes the dissolving agents. And yes, you know what? I'm actually gonna steal these empty bottles, because I want those for my house. Just for decoration. And yes, I know I haven't got around to that yet, but trust me, we will probably do an episode just on me decorating my house. And it will likely be boring as shit. Isn't this a beautiful specimen? It's perfectly preserved. Well, I do use a lot of skin cream. You do mean me, right? I don't really want to ask you anything. Screw you, I remember what happened last time we spoke to one of those dudes. Holy shit. He did not shut up. Okay, yeah, so... It looks like the fellow we're looking for... I believe you can enter one of these tents. Yes, this one. 
He should be in here. Don't know why there's no quest marker, but hey, whatever. The area's... Get out of the way, people. For God's sakes. Can we rob him? Yes, we can. And we will, and we got gold nuggets. Very handy. What's in here? More stuff. And again, it looks like he doesn't mind us taking it, so... Why the hell not, I say? Get, move! My gear. What's this but Move! Jesus! Oh, now I'm knocking shit over. I was hoping that would be a school book or something, but doesn't look like it. I want to check your chest, buddy. You got jack shit. Well, okay, what then. Is it now? Hello, and who might you be? I'm the main character. Uh, I'm a new member. Teeth sent me here. What up? Really? So nice to meet you. I'm Tumir, resident paleontologist. What brings you out here? Well, you see, we have this grand problem. We need some dissolving agents. I am afraid I have run dry at the moment. Oh, I'm terribly sorry to hear that. What do you mean, run dry? I used the last of it this morning on the Ampix. The what? But it's easily made, assuming you've got the slime, of course, which I've got plenty of. For a second there, I thought he said armpits. Slime! The corrosive slime from that cocoon in the outside tent is the active ingredient in the dissolving agent. It took me months to find that cocoon, but now I'm up to my knees in slime. <laughs> Just like your mother. <laughs> what do you mean he's the make? Corrosive slime is the primary ingredient. Then you just mix that with green stain cupcaps and you're done. I've got the slime, but I'm out of green stain cupcaps. If you collect some for me, I'll make you a vial of dissolving agent. Green stain cupcaps aren't hard to find. Try searching this island. And if you can't scavenge enough around here, try the Archaeology Guild Garden. You'll need five green stain cup caps to make a single vial of dissolving agent. Five? That's a lot of freaking shrooms for one bottle, but oh, okay easy. then. So yeah, basically he wants you to get out the way, people! My god! He wants you to loot the shrooms, the island is full of them, so the chances of you not getting five here, because obviously you have a chance of not getting an ingredient when you loot the things in Oblivion, unlike Skyrim, but uh, it's slim to none, like they are everywhere here. Plus, like you mentioned, there's more back at the guild if you want them. I don't think you even need to pick them, you can probably go buy some from like an alchemist or something, so yeah, it's easy enough to do. It's just a basic collection quest, which normally I can't stand in games, but you know, it takes literally 20 seconds, so. And that circumstance, I'm okay with that, and I do believe it's the only quest like this in the entirety of the, uh, the mod, so... Yeah, not really a problem. Anyway, I do believe that should be enough, but screw it, we'll go around here and grab some more on our way back to the tents. Yes. Give me all of the shrooms. Wanna get a little high? Okay. I get your shrooms, buddy. What up? Have you gathered the five green stain cup caps? Well, actually, I have. Excellent. I'll just take those from you. Now. Just give me a second to mix this together. One. And G here you go. Your vial of dissolving agent. Pretty close. If you need more, I'm happy to oblige. Don't know why we would need more, but I assume they probably have some kind of unique effect. But, uh, yeah. Uh, Maybe this, in fact, yeah, I think that's what it is. I believe they sell for quite a bit, so if you want to just keep collecting shrooms and selling the damn things, then you could probably do that. If I can ever find it. It's gonna be an alchemy ingredients, isn't it? Why do I do that every time? Yeah, 300. Which is not a lot to us now, but in the early game, like, had you come here at level 1 or something, then yeah, it's quite a lot, but at the same time, would you be clearing out that spire at level 1? Not without cheating or jacking the difficulty down, no, you wouldn't, because, uh, ginormous ogres of death everywhere. Well, they are tiny ogres of death everywhere. You know, little, little Shrek ogres. Okay, and I almost forgot to mention, there's this. It's like a giant, uh, sand thing. It reminds me of something, but I, it, it looks kind of like a stingray, I guess, but they don't have bones. At least I don't think so. But yeah, it's cool, because again, all custom. I love that shit. Like, think how much work went in just to making that skeleton. Just for it to sit here, and you could miss it. That's why I love this mod. So much attention to detail. Anyway, let's go check out the forest again. Okay, I couldn't find anything, so I had to look it up. Apparently, there are some secrets here, but they only happen between midnight and 3 a.m., I believe. Apparently, one is if you approach the well, and the other one is if you sleep in the bed. And again, you've only got those three hours to do it, so, uh, it's just about midnight. Now, 
So, as soon as it actually gets there, we'll get to check out the well and see if we can hear this noise. Hey. Oh, I hear a thing. Well, that's disappointing. Maybe I was too close or something when the time ticked over, I don't really know, but uh, apparently the, the, the well is supposed to make like a, a sound of a child or screaming or something like that when you approach it, but... I don't know, I didn't hear a goddamn thing. And the other thing, if I can ever find this bed within the time limit here, because I've lost it now. Apparently, again, if you sleep in the bed, something happens. I won't spoil that for you, but... Yeah, I'm hoping this works, at least, because uh, the well was a bit of a bust, quite frankly. And apparently there is no way into the well. Like, uh, you can unlock it with the console, but there's no, it doesn't lead anywhere, so... Yeah, it's kind of disappointing, but yeah, it's just, again, it's unique landscapes, it's not a quest, but it is cool as shit. Well, alright then, that was creepy as shit. But yeah, apparently there's uh, three different randomized cutscenes when you sleep in the bed between these times. Those are really cool, I love that. Again, like the attention to detail. The dude's making custom landscapes. He didn't have to go to this trouble, but he did. Ah, oh, it looks like we got the same one again. Well, that sucks. And apparently I can't skip it. Well, like, I only took like 10 seconds, but uh, yeah, again, I'm gonna search around, see if I can actually find what the Minotaurs were protecting, and I'll bring it back in if I find the damn thing, but uh, yeah, it's kind of elusive as shit, cause normally this area is pretty flat, it's just green, there's not, you know, giant dark trees of death everywhere, so it's normally a lot easier to see what you're looking for, but yeah, once again, give me a moment here. Okay, I don't know how well you can see that over in the distance there, but there's another Minotaur, and it is dark as shit. Even I can barely see it. And yeah, there's like a red sprite here. And it makes creepy noises. We surprised by this? No, no, we're not. There it is! That's what we're looking for. And, uh, yes, it's a unicorn. Can I mount you? I'm... I'm very surprised the unicorn's attacking the things that are supposed to be protecting it. You're a bit of a dick. You're a bit of a dick. But yeah, we're gonna kill the unicorn, cause... Uh, basically, there is a quest, I think it's unmarked, I don't really remember, where you have to take the unicorn's horn to somebody. And anytime you bring out a weapon, the unicorn will attack you, including my followers, so... We literally cannot use it as an actual, you know, mount. Which sucks, cause it's really cool, but, uh, yeah. At least we found the damn thing, and we murdered it horribly. Cause it's what we do. But yeah, supposedly there's three Minotaurs, but they are like really spread out. Like I have no idea where the hell the third one is. I don't know how we couldn't see the second one or the unicorn before. Like I say, uh, I guess they just weren't in the area, like they'd wandered off or something. Oh. Don't really know, but yeah, I assume it's a bug with the unicorn attacking the Minotaur, because again, the, the unicorn attacks enemies that have weapons drawn. But I mean, the Minotaur, he did have a weapon, so I get that, but they're protecting it. So yeah, I don't know. But yeah, anyway, we got the guy's horn, and it sucks that you have to kill her, but it's not really usable as a mount. Like I say, you pull out a weapon, it will jump you. Anyway, I'm going to end it here. Next time, we'll go hand in the, uh, the dissolving agent to Teeve. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I would appreciate a like, and I'll see you next time for more Oblivion.